yes, yes. This is Mr. Yee Yee. A lot of you out there know me as uh, Mr. Yee Yee. And this is, uh, you know, Rudy. And, uh, you know, I am the owner and operator here at No Limit Hauling and Junk Removal. We make it happen. And, you know, this video today is to, you know, let my audience out there know, you know, all my viewers, we nothing but love. We love how you guys support us. You guys, you know, take your time and like and subscribe and give your time to watch our videos. It's a blessing. And, you know, it's just a blessing that um, we're able to do this and be our own bosses and be, you know, own our own business. And, uh, you know, this video today is, you know, our one year, you know, recap of our first year in business. And, uh, you know, it's been, it's been a, it hasn't been a roller coaster, but it has been, you know, a blessing. And, you know, just want to give everybody an update how we're doing, you know, on our first year, how we did. And, uh, you know, just uh, a recap, you know, of uh, what we went through, how we learned, and, you know, what we needed to do to handle our business and, uh, you know, get things rolling and, you know, get our name out there. And, you know, let the community, let the county, let all your neighbors, all of our neighbors know that we're here. And, you know, we're here, we're here to stay, you know. And um, with that said, let's get this video started, you know. You, like I said, all you guys out there know me as, you know, Mr. Yee Yee. Drives my, my wife crazy when I say that. But anyways, you know, it's a blessing. You know, I created that little, uh, you know, uh, saying because, you know, I felt, I felt that, you know, I wanted to be different from everybody and, you know, stand out and have my own, you know, uh, uh, mark and icon. So, you know, I end a lot of my videos with that, you know, the iconic Yee Yee, you know, and uh, we're out here in Solano County, Northern California, that big 707. And, you know, we started our own business last year. We purchased our trailer. We purchased our trailer uh, uh, March 11th. We purchased our trailer March 11th and uh, we didn't get the logos on until about March 15th, probably March 15th. And you know, we were open. Even without our logos, we were open. I posted an ad, you know, and uh, we were open. And uh, it went off just like that. A lot of you probably don't know what I did before this to get to where I'm at now is I was a public transit operator. You know, I have a CDLs, I have my class B license. I was a public transit operator for, uh, you know, uh, in the inner bay area right here. So, you know, I loved my job, I loved my career. It brought me to where I, to the man I am now. And, you know, it helped me out in life. And, uh, you know, but I decided, you know, I wanted to do something different and I didn't want to have to work overtime every day. I didn't want to have to work 15, you know, hours a day. I didn't want to have to work seven days a week. And I just didn't want to have to travel to work anymore. And, you know, things got different. You know, well, I got married. So, you know, things got a lot different. So, you know, just didn't want to be at work every day no more. And, you know, dedicate my life to this company where, you know, we all know you're not going to get rich there. So, you know, I decided to start something different. Uh, uh, you know, in the beginning, I started this business no limit hauling it wasn't going to be no limit hauling it took us a while to get that name and you know but uh originally i was starting this business just to you know do tree trimming because i love tree trimming i have a background with the uh california conservation corps and san francisco conservation corps and you know i have a background in maintenance so you know originally i started this i was going to start this busy business just for side work so i don't have to do no more overtime you know, because I figure everybody has trees, everybody needs help. And, you know, whatever, I can do some hauling too. And one day I seen a video on YouTube and, you know, <clears throat> it was from one of the biggest haulers out there in the YouTube world. And we all know probably who that 
So that I'll, I'll, I'll give him this. That couple is. We all know who that couple is. And I seen that video, <clears throat> and I said, "Wow, look at this guy. You know, he's doing that. I could do it better. You know." And I said, "Man, you know, you know, I know how to talk. I'm a people's person. I know sales, <clears throat> and you know, I love to be around people. I love to be that ear." So I seen this video of, of, of this couple, you know, doing junk removal, hauling and junk removal. And I said, wow. And I see more videos, more videos. And I said, they're making some money. And, you know, they're doing what they want to doing. And then, you know, watching their all of their YouTube videos and liking and commenting on their live chats, which I was going on. And, you know, and, you know, seeing, you know, what it takes. And, you know, doing all my YouTube research, on my YouTube homework. I spent many hours on YouTube University. You know, what truck, what trailer, what should I get? How much should I get? Should I buy you? Should I buy brand new? Do I need a dump truck? Do I need a dump trailer? Or can I just get around with a truck? And, you know, <clears throat> you know, I made that decision to, uh, to buy a truck, you know, brand new. And I was blessed to do it. And, you know... And then I said, you know, we need a trailer. So I went to uh, Lodi, California, the trailer specialist, trailerspecialist.com. And, you know, you can reach out to them and, you know, tell them Rudy from No Limit Hauling sent you. And, uh, you know, I bought a trailer. You know, I paid cash. And I went there. I was blessed to pay cash for it. And, you know, my wife, we both went there. And she was a little iffy because it was a big purchase. And, you know, she wasn't used to big purchases, especially like, you know, this is a new business. It's a gamble. And, you know, we just, I just, we were going to go buy a smaller trailer. And then, you know, just, j just for small runs, just for a side hustle. Then all of a sudden I seen that big boy. I said, there's no limit. You know, you better, you know, I told myself, I might as well get that bigger trailer and, you know, not have to have that problem in the future. So, you know, what I did was, you know, I, uh, decided I made that move and I got that trailer and you know I did what I had to do so I did it I purchased the trailer and you know in cash and we were so happy and I have a video in my early years of YouTube on this business you guys have probably seen it putting my own logos on and everything and you know we were so happy you know to bring the trailer home and get the business going and you know just like that it happened and you know um, at first I was working, you know, for my, uh, my employer driving that bus, you know, and then I was doing this on the side and, you know, but I started to lose the passion for working for this company and, you know, being around a certain type of public because we work, we work with the public, but this was a different type of public with the transit authority and, you know, you know, anytime you have to deal with public and money, it becomes a situation. So, you know, I was just like, I'm spending eight hours here, but you know, on one of my side jobs, I made a whole paycheck. So I was like, it wasn't making sense to me. So, you know, me and my wife were going back and forth, back and forth, back and forth, you know. <clears throat> I'd be doing what I gotta do. And you know, my, my other phone, my business phone will be going off. And you know, I can't answer it because I'm driving the bus, so I can't touch it. So. I would have to wait like half an hour to get to my phone just to answer it and then call back and say, hey, sorry, I missed your call, you know, but uh, how can we help you? And sometimes I wouldn't get the job because they already found someone. Sometimes I would, but it was it's just frustrating because we all know, you know, in this business, got to pick that phone up, got to answer because people have so many options and choices. So the more quicker you are to answer that phone, the more faster you're going to land that job. And you know, communication is number one. Even if even if you don't answer the phone and you're busy, but you could text that person right there and then a custom text, can I call you back in a few minutes? Just those little things right there will help you, which I learned. So, you know, going back and forth at work and just, you know, I lost touch with my career. And you know, what I loved so much, the passion I love for it. Cause you know, I come from a family of, uh, bus operators that work for the transit authority from my father to uh, my sister. And, uh, you know, I wanted to be just like my dad and, you know, prove to him that, you know, I got the 
transitory job. My life has changed, you know, from being in the union to being a chief shop steward of the local and, you know, helping a lot of people out with the grievances and being that ear and being there for them. You know, it was it was a lot. And then, you know, trying to make maintain my own life and, you know, not being able to do the overtime and just, you know, just being wrapped up into it. So, you know, I just decided, you know, me and my wife, we, we were talking, you know, let's go, maybe let's go, you know, let's do it the first year, see how it goes. But then, you know, within a, within the first six months, we started in March, we really got going in April and then the, the summer hit and boom, once that summer hit, you know, our phone was ringing. And, you know, it was just, bam. So, you know, it kind of helped me make that decision where, you know, I decided that I wasn't, you know, I don't I, I don't want to do this anymore. I don't want to call it, I, I don't want to report to the window. I don't want to report to a business anymore. You know what? The only way I'm going to get rich is if I put my time and invest everything I got into myself. And that's exactly what happened. I invested my money, my time into myself and created this. All this created it. And you know, of course I was blessed because I worked hard for so many years, you know, 15 hours a day, seven days a week, getting all that overtime. Of course, Uncle Sam loved it, but you know, I had a lot of capital build it up. So, you know, I went through many, many, many trials and errors and many careers in life, many jobs in life until I got that one job that, you know, changed my life and it became my career. And I dedicated all my time to it. And anyways, you know, so, you know, I was able to come into this game with capital and, you know, with a mature state of mind and, you know, tunnel vision about this business. And, you know, I purchased the things I needed to purchase. And I would say within six months, that trailer was paid off. I already got my money back for it. I got my money back that I paid for that trailer, no problem. But before I left that uh, that that company, when I got my trailer at, I told that salesman, I'm gonna be back next year for another trailer. Cause I had that goal, cause I already knew. Once I start to hustle, and once I start to get, once I start going, there's no limit. I'm telling you, cause I come from a hustle background. I come from, you know, San Francisco, California, you know, that mission district and you know, you gotta have it. I'm a people's person. You know, I know sales very good. And you know, I just know how to, you know, fill a situation out and diffuse a situation and, you know, read people and, you know, know when things are, no one is a situation. And I can smell money. So, you know, it was just, you know, so I decided to walk away from my career and, you know, before a year. And I was like, you know what, I'm just gonna take the leap. I just took that leap and you know a lot of people were surprised that you know I walked away from my career and you know I walked away from my pension you know I walked away from my retirement I walked away from my seniority and you know $85,000 a year easy driving a bus in the AC no problem I walked away from it because I had a goal I knew it and just like that, you know, that's how it started. You know, we got the name going. We decided to call it No Limit Hauling and Junk Removal. And, you know, yes, we could have put the county's name into it or put the area code into it. But, you know, I wasn't thinking like that. Maybe I could have. Maybe you could have. Maybe you should learn from this. But I just went with what I, what was in my head. And, you know. We legalized it, you know, we went on, uh, we got our domain, we legalized it, and, uh, you know, City Hall, we paid for all the rights, and uh, we got that name. So now I said, you know, what's next? We got all of our logos, we got all of our logos. I ordered my logos on uh, letters.com. You guys can go out there too, reach out to them, letters.com, and, um, vinyl decals and I said you know what I could put my own logos on my trailer I did a bunch of YouTube research I even even on YouTube it showed me where to find the, the, the decals that's exactly what I did I paid for all my decals yes it was a little expensive but I paid more to get my truck wrapped you know than 
I paid for my logo. So, you know, it was just, uh, it was meant to be. And uh, I got my logos. I think that's one of my first videos, me me wrapping my trailer with my logos and just doing it, just, just you know, starting this business from the ground up. I'm very blessed because I know so many haulers. I see so many haulers that, you know, they wish they had that day one video. They wish they had that video where they started from the day one. And you know, I've been blessed. I did. And you know, I bring all of you guys with me to witness it. And you know, it's been a blessing and I'm gonna keep on doing videos for you guys to see. You know, you see my nice backdrop? This backdrop right here is for when I do my pop-up meet and greets. You know, we got our tablecloths, we got our banners, we got our cards, our, our merchandise to give out with our name all over it, our business name all over it, our company's phone number all over it. Just things that you're going to invest in, you know. So uh, with that said, you know, we got the logo wrapped, you know, and I would say it was probably March 25th, I think March 25th, that, you know, we were f fully, fully ready. And, you know, we got that first job. That first job came in and it was like, phew, it was, it was, it was humbling. It was, I remember I told my wife, we got, we got the call, babe. We got the call. That's what we were calling it. That was what we were calling it from, from our first days. I would tell my wife, we got the call, the phone rang. Because we were looking at that phone every day and it wasn't ringing. And you know, for the first month it wasn't ringing. Our phone didn't ring the first month. And you know, we didn't pay for advertising. We didn't do anything. But but uh, but you know what we did pay? We we were paying on Craigslist. I was doing like ten dollars a day, five dollars a day, and then we were just doing on Facebook. And you know, <clears throat> I didn't realize that you know Facebook had so many groups that you can post into. So you know, I was still learning. I was getting it, but you know, I, and and then I was on next door, <clears throat> and the phone rang. Our very very first job, I think was April something. Our very first job with a brand new trailer. Our very first job was a concrete cement job. And boy, oh boy, oh boy, did we learn our lesson. You know, just our phone rang. We were so happy to get a job. A guy gave us a, uh, a picture over the phone. I was at my stepson's baseball game. Uh, he's, he, he was a senior in high school playing baseball. And I was at his baseball game and our phone went off. And I said, babe, our phone went off. We gotta go, we gotta go get this job. And I told a client, you know, I'm, I'm at my stepson's baseball game. Can I come see you after? He was like, yeah, don't worry about it. So, you know, he sent me this picture of this big old pile of concrete, a broken up patio that he needed the concrete to be removed. So I said, okay, we'll come check it out. So, you know, we gave him a little rough estimate over the phone. That's how I learned not to give, you know, estimates over the phone because you, you're gonna lose, trust me, because things are always bigger in person. So we went over there. Then when we got there, the concrete was all the way in the backyard. We had to go through the side of the house, but I was still new at backing up my trailer and doing all this stuff. So, you know, I've, I, I've had boats before. I used to fish a lot and, you know, they did call me Tarzan of the Delta. You know what I mean? Sturgeon King, anyways. Uh, so we got there and it was a pile of concrete, probably about half 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 of my size of my body and it, it, it turned out to be six thousand pounds three tons in my trailer and i'm you know i'm me and my wife are like whoa because me and her did it so we were like whoa so you know and uh with a uh, wheelbarrow and a garbage can we start getting all that rock out of there and i had to bring my sledgehammer to break big old chunks of concrete up and you know, cause I watched a YouTube video how to break concrete up and sledgehammer. So, you know, after like 15, after like about a half an hour into it, my wife was like, bad, my back hurts. And I said, damn. So we had to call our stepson and you know, he'd been waiting for work all month with us, asking us every day, is there work? Is there work? Is there work? And finally the work came and, and boy, oh boy, was he, was he not ready for that? So, you know, I had to release my wife from that and my stepson started to help us and um, we start busting that job out. Little did I know that I'm throwing big old chunks of concrete, chunks of concrete, these are probably 50 pound pieces into my trailer. 
denning my trailer, scratching my trailer, just denning the shit out of my trailer. The floor, the walls, the back, the back wall, everything, just to get this job over with. Because it was like at 4 o'clock. It was like 3 o'clock after the uh, baseball game, and we were already out there in the heat and went to go do this job. So, you know, we learned our lesson right there, and we knew it was real, that, you know, watch out what you say and watch out what the price is. So our first job was a cement job, removal, and it was 6,000 pounds, three tons. And my truck pulled it no problem. You know, I ended up buying a, a 2002 um, Chevy Silverado, uh, a 1500 uh, Duramax diesel, and I raised my I raised my truck four inches with the ready lift kit. I put the uh, Toyo Open Countries on it, AT threes, and then I end up I, I I actually end up putting airbags on the back of my truck. So each so back of my truck on both sides has airbags, 7500 pounds each. Because I would because man I would. In the beginning of this business, my truck would be like this, pulling those big old heavy loads because I was doing concrete, dirt. I was just doing so much stuff, you know, so many construction debris. And my truck was just like. Pfft. So I watched some video and some video said, you know, some truck guys said, put them airbags on the back. It's not expensive no more. So the same place I got my truck raised, I went there and they installed my airbags and just all, all of a sudden. Pfft. Man, I recommend if you guys are hauling out there. If you guys are pooling, hauling, junk removal, whatever you guys do, whatever vehicle you got and you like the vehicle and you want to keep it, invest into, in, in, into those airbags. They're cheap now. They're not expensive all like that no more. I think I paid about six or seven hundred for the airbags and my guy put them on for like four hundred and boom, just like that. You know, uh, they're not ready lift. I have the four inch ready lift kit on the truck, but uh, uh, I think they're. Air Master, I forgot what they're called, but you know, I'll try to leave a, dis a, a, a description on the bottom so you guys can link to it. But uh, you know, then after that, you know, we had to get shirts made. We had to get so many shirts made. You know, we got shirts made. Um, we got the logos on the truck. Now, you know, I wanted to do meet and greets. I wanted to do, you know, I, I wanted to. I was already thinking ahead of my time for this business. You know, I want to do parades. I want to do the local parades here. I want to sponsor. I want to do national, uh, 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 national uh, uh, day out. You know, what is it called? Uh, national night out at your local parks, what they do in your community, national day out. I wanted to do pop-ups. So I got banners. I got backdrops. I got, you know, then we had to get, you know, we had to get our cards ready. And I tell you right now, my business cards... We got so many business cards, but I tell you right now, we're gonna laugh about this because we you know me and my wife laughed about this. So when when I went and got my business cards, they're so nice, double sided, you know, the beautiful cards. When I went and got a thousand of these cards, when I went and got a, when I went and got a thousand of these cards made, I was so happy and I was so much, you know, just to get my cards ready. I didn't realize I put the wrong phone number on my card. You know what I mean? I put the wrong phone number on my card and I had a thousand made. And I even, they sent me the uh, pre-purchase of this, how the cards look, do you agree on it so we can print them? And I looked at them and I agreed on it. Of course, I was at work driving a bus in a hurry on my five minute break. So I had to just, and I pushed it, yes. So they printed and I went to go pick them up. And you know, me and my wife, you know, watched the YouTube videos of the other haulers Give gift baskets, give gift candy, go to your go to your realtor's office, go to your property manager's office, and you know, give them um give them um baskets with your card in it with candy in it. So that's what we did. We went to every realtor office around here, every a uh, property manager's office around here, apartments around here, senior citizen living home centers around here with the wrong cards, with the wrong phone number. Oh my God, how embarrassing. I was so upset. I was so upset, you know, when someone, when a local realtor reached out to me and said, hey Rudy, you know, I try to call you, but that number you have on your card is not your card you have on your Facebook. I said, say what? That was a Kimball slice punch to my face. I 
feel like I got punched by Mike Tyson. And I had to just take it. And I said, damn. Damn, I was so embarrassed. My pride was so hurt. My wife even told me I've never seen you that upset. Because this is my business. I take so much pride in this. And, you know, I want this to work. I want this to grow. And just like that, I, I, I messed up. So I had to call back the printing company that we went to and get a thousand more cards. And they, were, and they said, you know what, Rudy? You're so cool how you came in here and talked to us. And I, you know what? We understand. Don't worry about it. We'll print you a thousand more. Don't worry about it. Absolutely no charge. So, you know, that place is Simico. Simico.com. You can go to Simico.com like I did for my truck wrap and my business cards. Just my business cards and my truck wrap. I went to Simico out here in Vacaville, California. So, you know, there's a plug for them. If you guys need something done, they do excellent business cards. Within a, a few days, they were done. They're beautiful. I have thousands of them. But, you know, I, you know... You're going to learn in this business, just like I did. And I'm sharing that with you guys because, you know, you're gonna, these are things you're going to learn in business. Take your time and do things right and make sure all your T's are crossed and your I's are dotted because, you know, don't be rushed and take your time. And, you know, that was, a, that was an embarrassing situation. But, you know, I met this realtor and he put me on game and, you know, he actually helped me. A lot. His name is Tom Arnold. He works with uh, 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 Remax out here in Vacaville, California. If you guys need some help, reach out to Tom Arnold out here in Vacaville, California. Remax. You can find him on YouTube. You can find him on uh, Facebook. He's a good guy. You know what I mean? We actually shot a video a commercial. If you could, if you check my YouTube videos down uh, down my lower videos in my early seasons, we did a we did a YouTube commercial with him. And I'm on his YouTube also with, with other projects. And that's just, you know, you have to reach out to people. So, you know, what a learning lesson. So, you know, everything was going good. You know, we had to get, those are our business cards. Now we had our flyers made, our double-sided flyers. And, you know, we got with a, um, I couldn't make this by myself. So, you know, I love this. Me and my wife are on it. That's me, that's my wife, you know, with our big logo, with our big phone number, double side of everything we do right here, a couple pictures, a QR code, all the social media platforms, you know, very big in the back, and you know, just like that, double side of flyers. So I meet a lot of people, and they ask me for my card all the time when I'm at people's houses, I give them one of these. I don't even give them my cards anymore, they're too small. You know what I mean? So I give them one of these big flyers. That have everything that I, I do listed, my phone number all over it, the website all over it, QR codes all over it, and then a few photos of of some of the jobs we did. And just like that, people love these cards because you know a lot of senior citizen people need help actually you for your help. And this is plain in view. It's not so little like my card, but this is you know get with this. So what I did was I got with a. Uh, uh, a person who's in charge of marketing and you know I was blessed to meet someone who really helped me out with my marketing and designed a lot of my stuff for me and you know so you know we'll, 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 when we go to our pop-up events you know we give away pencils these pencils have our have our website and our name on it with our phone number and we give those we give these pencils away we love to give these pencils away when we get to clients houses for their children and, you know, people love free stuff, especially pencils. Their kids all use pencils. Boom, bam. They go to school with this pencil or they have this pencil around the house somewhere. They're always going to use it. They always, our, name is, our name and our logo is all, all over it. So we give out free pencils at pop-ups. Some of our merchandise we got made. We got postcards made. Our four by eights. These are our postcards that were made. A few pictures on the back, too. So, you know. We give out all these things when we go to our pop-up events, but you know, we give out these things when we first meet people also. So, you know, you know, again, our marketing team, we went to a printer shop, big, huge warehouse, and got all these done. All these things done, all these things were done just like that. Just like that. Our social media is on there, our phone number's on there, QR codes on there, everything we do is on there. And you know, we got with a marketing team, and, and guess what? They did it absolutely for free for us because I knew this person. And, you know, that person shows me nothing but love. And, you know, 
They have our Facebook on there, our Google on there, our YouTube on there. It has everything we do, you know what I mean? Then in the front has a big old picture of our trailer. So people want to see what we can come do magic with. Boom, bam, we got that done. And you know, just like that, we're in motion. So now everywhere we go, we give out these things. We have, you know, our items that we give away to people. And you know, people know who we are. You know, with, with our shirts and our logos. Then we got the truck wrapped. And you know, it's been a good, good, good year for us. You know, we're just, we're, we're, we're there. And you know, it's been very good to us. We learned a lot, you know, and uh, we're still learning. And you know, we're just so blessed to, uh, you know, be doing what we do and being our owners of our own business. And at the same time, bringing in a profit. Because it hasn't been a loss. I'll tell you that like that. We came in in April. So we got in like with spring, then we hit right through summer and it just blew up. So, you know, to get my name out there, you know, we use all the social media platforms, all the free social media platforms, all of them. I didn't want to pay for Google or pay for this or pay for that. I said, nah, nah, if they're doing it for free, if these guys on YouTube are telling you and they're very successful that, you know, flood the social media platform, I did it. You know how many times I was kicked off social media groups? I was in a, a next door jail for posting too much. I don't care because, you know, it's free advertising. And all advertising is good advertising as long as you're not paying for it. And then it's, it's so big. When I got that truck wrapped, now when I go anywhere, people see my logos. When I have that truck and trailer and I'm driving everywhere, so many people take pictures of my truck and trailer. And we've, and we've had so many business. But I tell you... I had to learn the hard way about about promoting your business. So you better know your your uh, code enforcement laws in your city and county, and you better know you know what you can and what you can't do in your city and county. Because trust me, trust me, they have nothing to do but to come and citation you. And I've been served. So you know that's another video I'm gonna talk about. I'm gonna bring to you guys about. You know what can help you on on uh, 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 not getting a citation about a code enforcement in your area because before you start this business make sure you know the laws in your area make sure you know the code enforcement in your area make sure if you live in a HOA what you can park in front of your house and what you could put in front of your house I had to learn all these the hard way and expensive way but you know it's okay you know we got a CPA and you know, he helps us out with everything and you know, he takes care of our taxes, our books. And you know, we just, we just, we just play by the rules here. It cost us money, but you know what? We don't want a problem with Uncle Sam. So, you know, then we got the, we got the, uh, we got the Clover card reader. That was a bonus, but you know, you can do, you, you can do without all that stuff. They have apps that have card readers and you could just have, you know, Venmo, Zelle, uh, Cash App, Apple Pay, um, there's just so many ways you can get paid with the apps now without even having a card. We take checks, no problem. And, uh, you know, but, uh, we were going around, we were blessed. We, we were able to get, uh, commercial jobs and, and, you know, get, uh, jobs with these apartment buildings, get contracts with apartment buildings, with dealerships, auto body shops, uh, senior citizen living centers, and all because we did all of our own. Uh, uh, organic marketing we went in person me and my wife to all these places and you know sometimes we went there in the beginning with the wrong number with the wrong card but you live and learn and you know it's just been blessed you know what I mean and uh now everybody now so many people in our area know where we are at it's rare that we go more than 10 miles for a job you know but um you know we've learned a lot and we got to you know we really took off in April and we did all summer. And you know, there's so many jobs that I did from, you know, uh, weed whacking, because I caught that a form of removal. You're removing, you know, uh, weeds and everything. So I did so many jobs with weed whacking, with tree trimming, tree removal. And you know, at the same time I was there to do that job, I told them I'd do this, I told them I'd do that, I told them I'd do this, I told them I'd do that. And, and word of mouth just kept on getting around, referrals kept on getting around. And you know, we were just busy, busy in a hundred degree heat. We were just working and working and working and working. And, and to me, my main thing was 
putting our name out there, getting our name out there, and you know, making sure people know who we are. Because there's so much competition in my area, but you know, to me, that didn't affect me. Because I, because I already told myself, there is no competition. You know what I mean? I'm only worried about me. And we're gonna get money. And, and we gotta make this work. So we had to put 125% into our business to make this work because, you know, we didn't, I didn't want to go back to work for anyone ever again. And I still don't want to go back to work for anybody else again. So that's why I promote so much. I wake up thinking about this. I think about this all day. Before I go to bed, I think about this. In my sleep, I dream about this. And I'm here now, Mr. Yee Yee. And you know, we started off good. You know, it's, 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 it, 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 it's been going good. And you know, well, uh, uh, we started my Google My Business, and you know, the Google My Business is good for us. You know, uh, we got the Yelp. The, uh, we get good good reviews on Yelp, and uh, but you know that Google My Business is the number one. Before we even started, we had our Google My Business already. We had our uh, our website going already, which I built myself on. Uh, what is it? Uh, I forgot the website's name. But you know, I did the website myself, all organic. I used a bunch of pictures. And it's funny because when I built my website, I didn't even have pictures. I didn't even have pictures because I didn't have no jobs yet. So what I would do is when I was driving a bus, I would see a big old, a big old pile of junk on the floor and I knew Public Works was, was gonna come pick that up. I'd take a picture of that. And then as a day later, that pile was removed. I took another picture of it the before and after. I didn't even have pile. I didn't even have pictures because I was still new in the business. So I would go around on my bus, stop the bus, take a picture, and I knew that pile would be picked up. Or if I see a pile in front of someone's house, I took a picture. That's just how I got my first pictures because I didn't have any. And I didn't want to use someone else's pictures. I wanted them all to be organic because Google wants everything to be organic. They know when you screenshot or you do this or you do that. So... You know, I got my Google My Business. I was approved. And, uh, you know, it just started going from there. And, you know, as the jobs start rolling in, I start taking pictures. I got my own separate business phone. Uh, I got a, uh, I went to uh, our local bank where we bank at. And I got a business account uh, going. I got a business credit card. And, you know, everything just started going good. You know, it's been a year now. And, they just sent me a letter. They just bumped my credit line up and, you know, it's doubled. And, you know, it's just, we got that going. We got all forms of payment going. We got our marketing good. And, you know, it's just a lot of times it, it's you. If you have that ambition, if you have that goal, if you have that drive, it's you that makes your own business. Because at the end of the day, the only person who cares about your business is you. You may have employees, you may have workers, but they're not gonna worry about your business like you are. If something happens to your truck or trailer, who has to fix it? You. Something happens to a tool. There's been many times that my workers, my helpers, left tools at the dump site. They left tools on a job. I gotta replace all those tools. You know, and just, so everything goes on you. So, but it's, but it's been good, you know. You know, at first, I, I wanted a lot of help to help me get the jobs done, but now what I've learned now, a year into it now, what I've learned, you can do this job all by yourself. You don't really need too much help. You can do it by yourself if, if you just map it out and figure it out and have the right tools. A nice hand truck, a dolly, a saw saw, a skill saw, a pry bar, a sledgehammer. These are things that you can do, that, that the basic tools that you know you need. I recommend you get a garbage can with wheels on it and, and, and a wheelbarrow. I rarely use a wheelbarrow, but my garbage can with wheels, that's a game changer. I'm telling you right now. And a lot of these things that I've gotten were for free. Because you're going to find them in clients' houses. They're going to give them to you for free. And you know, just like that, all my, all my things I got are for free damn near almost. Almost everything, all my tools that I got from clients. And you know, you'll get them. And you know, that's just it. And uh, you know, but it's so much important that, you know, you get those Google reviews because within our one year, within our one year anniversary, we have over, we have 104 Google reviews. And I see some of my competition in my area. I, I got more views than them already. 
When you Google, when you Google in my area, junk removal near me, I'm top of the page. I'm on the first page at the top because those other sponsors, those other sponsored ads, those guys who pay for their ads, they're like one or two above me, but you know they paid for them. But when you, but when I come up, I'm on the top of the page because I rank high. Every time I go to a job, I try to get a Google review. I even show the people how to do the review. I say, let me show it to you real quick. Let me send it to you real quick. And I show them how to do it, you know? And they uh, they do it right in front of me. And it's amazing when you show them and, and, and they know how now. So, you know, but um, it's so important that you get those Google reviews. I've uh, outranked a lot of my uh, competition because I have more reviews than them. And I rank high because every time I do a job, I take a picture and post it on Google. Boom, bam. And, I, you know, I get those Google reviews. I got, 100, I got 104 Google reviews right now, all five stars. I have, I, my first year, I have never gotten anything under five star review. Anything under five stars. All my reviews are five stars. So that's going to rank you so high that you're going to go over your competition. You're going to right over them. So, you know, those Google reviews, I can't explain it enough to get your Google reviews. You know what I mean? Make sure you get those reviews. And because I'm trying to tell you when people in your area, I have so many people ask them, how'd you, how did you uh, find out about us? And they say, Google or Yelp, because I rank high, you know, boom, bam, boom, bam. And you know, there's so many haulers out here that you know, been out here a long time, been out here years. And I see that they have under 100 reviews or they have just like 150. I've had over 150 jobs in my first year. In our first year of business, we've had over 150 jobs. And if I would have got all my reviews for them, like all these people would have said, I would have over 150 reviews in my first year out here in Northern California, you know, Solano County. And you know, we're blessed. And you know, it's just been a blessing and you know, we're going to keep on going, but those Google reviews, I'm telling you, they help you so much. Because people are all, everybody's yelping and Googling, and, and, and out, out here in California, Yelp and Google, everybody's like this. Everybody. And, you know, our yard, our, our yard signs, you know, let me go, let me go grab a yard sign real quick. You know, I forgot about that, too. You know, you know let, me, let me grab, let me grab my yard sign. You know, okay. Let me show you guys. Let me let me show you guys one of my yard signs. You know, I already have my yard signs ready with the sticks on it, but look how big they are. I got the biggest ones. And you know, let me show you what I put on my sir yard sign. You see that? That's what I put on my yard sign. Look how big that is. Look how big. Junk removal free estimates my big phone number. Just like that. I put those yard signs and boom. I got the yard signs going and just like that. You know, when I go to a job, put the yard signs down. I haven't been putting many yard signs up because my phone has been ringing. I've been doing good, but you know, that's another form of advertising that, you know, you have to know again, your, you know, uh, codes and code enforcement laws in your area. Cause some areas, some cities, they don't allow yard signs unless you're campaigning and have a permit. So they'll take them off and throw them away. City workers, they'll take them, you just lost that, whatever you paid for that. And you know, they'll call you and warn you and send you a citation and say, hey, you better stop putting these signs up. So, but that's, that, that's all up to you. But every, you know how many jobs I've gotten from those yard signs? And some people just say, I've seen your sign. I took a picture of it while I was driving. And so they work. I'm trying to tell you, every advertising you do, works don't say this doesn't work because it does because you know i paid five dollars for craigslist uh, uh ad and guess what i got a thousand dollar job from that five dollar craigslist ad i posted a craigslist ad this person reached out to me and i went to their house it's a thousand dollar job for a five dollar craigslist ad you know what i mean so i'm trying to tell you but you know it's been a year into it and you know it's been going good and you know we just purchased our second trailer and uh man 
when you have two trailers in this game, it is so much in uh, easier situation for you. When you have, you know, each of my trailers are seven by 14 by four, 14.5 yards. So imagine two of those trailers, that's almost 30 yards of, uh, if you know what you're doing, how much you can pack in there. And trust me, we pack them, you guys already seen, camel hump trailer loads. That's just if I have to. But hey, you know, uh, let me see what else. We got so much going on. We, uh, all the free social media platforms. Uh, let me see. We did good with business. We had over 150 jobs this year. You know, uh, 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 we reached our uh, 300 subscribers. And we had 300 subscribers March, uh, I mean, February, February, I think 11th or something like that. On the Super Bowl, I did a video of my 300 subscribers, Super Bowl morning. And a month later, we have 415 subscribers now. So within a month, I got over 100 subscribers. And you know, that's just that's just that's just showing me that you know I have a following out there and you know I'm doing something right <laughs> because you know I'm documenting everything that I do for you guys out there everything we do is for you guys and you know to document today and show you guys that you can do all this all yourself if you want it just 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 do it you know and uh, it's been a blessing we have a strong we just started tiktok you can find us on tiktok no limit hauling and junk removal on tiktok you can find us on facebook no limit hauling and junk removal you can find us on uh on uh, instagram no limit hauling and junk removal obviously you already know youtube and uh you know we got so many more videos to come and you know we're so blessed but uh, you know this is our one year anniversary recap so we finally made one year and uh, we're doing so good. We got trailer number two. I just got the decals in. The decals are here. And, you know, we're going to put the decals on maybe tomorrow. We'll do another video about that. But, uh, you know, business has been doing good. You know, this business can be very, this junk removal business can be very profitable to you guys. And, you know, if you do it right and you put the time in and you put, you know, all of your effort into it. I'm trying to tell you, I walked away from my city, I I'm walked away from my transit authority job to start, to start my own business and be my own boss and do what I want to do in life now. So, you know, you can put money away into an IRA. You can put money away into other accounts. You can save money. And, you know, it's money to be made if you do it right. And, you know, that's just it. I'm trying to tell you, I'm proof. I started from the Ruta all the way to the Tuda. Like he said, started from the bottom, now I'm here. And you know, you guys have been with me every step of the way, and it's a blessing. And you know, we're gonna keep on making videos, we're gonna keep on flooding it, we're gonna keep on showing you guys how we get money, we're gonna keep on showing you guys and educating you guys to uh, what can help you to make money, and what, what, what can help you to just start your own business, and what can help you that you need to keep on going with your business because it's that easy. It happens that fast and you know, you can get it the same way I did, you know, and uh, you know, it's been, it's been a good year. It's been a, a good profitable year. It hasn't been no losses. I'm tell you right now, I got so many haulers, so many haulers that are in my area that have been here for years and they see us and they salute me. They hit me up, they call me, they, they give me nothing but love. Wanna know why? Because I give all the other haulers around here nothing but love. I do not bad mouth anybody. I do not, you know, point the finger at anybody. I do not, you know, wish bad on anybody. All I tell, I tell myself, I wanna be better. And that's just it. But I see so many haulers out here and they see me. And I got so many haulers out there, like you guys who reach out to me, I love it. When you guys reach out to me and you guys drop those comments and, and you guys subscribe and you guys, some of you guys out there call me and text me on my personal phone, which is nothing but love. You can reach out to us. You know, we answer all my calls and I get back to all my haulers out there who show me love and need some advice or need some information or just want to talk to me. Some haulers just like to talk to me and, you know, hear this lingo and make them feel good because, you know, sometimes, you know, it feels good to talk to uh, somebody because, you know, I talk to other haulers. And we talk for we talk for a while, and it feels good to see how to see how 
everybody's doing and see what other people are doing. And, you know, network with your local haulers. I'm trying to tell you, don't become enemies because that's not the business. You know, network with them. I'm not saying you got to like them and you got to uh, uh, call them every day and do all this. I'm just saying you never know when you're going to need some help. I can reach out to so many of my haulers in my local area and just like that, they're helping me with a trailer or help or even be on the job with me. And, you know, just like that, just, just, just like that, because I network with everybody and I show nobody, everybody but love because my mind is right. I'm at that mature state of life where, you know, ain't no time for bad, uh, 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 bad energy. Keep it all positive. Keep it moving. Everybody get money. You know, some going to make more than others. Some going to have more jobs than others. But hey, if you have your job, that's all that matters. As long as I get my work, as long as I'm getting paid, as long as, you know, I'm happy in doing what I'm doing, I'm good. Because at the end of the day, that's all that matters. You know, is uh, your happiness and, and, and what brings joy to you. So, you know, what brings joy to me is being my own boss, owning my own business, uh, being a strong husband and father and brother and son and uncle and you know just being a role model and you know being a motivation you, you guys already see my motivation I got so much motivation I got so much you know ambition that you know I could pump out so many videos every day but you know it's not easy editing these videos creating these videos a lot of people text me and and message me, how come you don't do a video of you uh, doing the job? A lot of times I, I, I don't want to. I don't have time to set up a tripod and put it over there and do all this and do all that. Then come home and edit my video. Because, you know, I just I just don't have time for it. It, 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 it. It's a lot. Especially when you're doing a job all by yourself and you have multiple jobs that day lined up. And your phone's going off and all this. And you have some clients who are on you. Because out here in the Bay Area, it's, it's so compact. Every time we do it, a lot of times we do a job, the client is right there watching too. So it's hard to sneak off and do a video or do this or just, every time you see me do a video, every time you see me do a picture, I ask, the, I ask permission from the client. Can I shoot this video real quick or before and after? Can I take a picture? I never just do it. Because that's very disrespectful and you don't ever know, a client may not want that. Because we go into, we go into situations where you have to be very mature about a situation because... The clients are sad. The clients are embarrassed because of their situation. But that's all part of our job that we have to show these people. I tell my clients, don't even worry about it because this is what I do for a living. I deal with these situations. But guess what? We're here today to help. Let's get rid of all this mess. That's what we do. I'm about to give you two tickets to the magic show and watch all this stuff disappear with our expertise. And people laugh and they love that shit. And, you know, a lot of it is a good attitude. A lot of it is just, you know, being kind and put one of 20% to your clients. Because a lot of your clients are going to be lifetime clients. They're always going to call you. They're going to refer you. If you do a good job, they're going to brag about you. I'm trying to tell you. So, you know, it's been a good year for us here at No Limit Hauling and Junk Removal. You know, we already got trailer number two. No Limit Trailer number two is here, paid off cash, just like that. And you know, everything is good for us. You know, we expect to have double the jobs this year. We expect to have triple the Google reviews this year. And you know, we just expect to have an even beautiful spring and summer and all the way into winter. It's gonna be beautiful. I'm trying to tell you, we're blessed. We love life. We love our business. We, we just love, we love all of you out there who take your time out of your life and hit that like and subscribe button and, and, you know, give your time to view our videos. It's nothing but love. And, you know, as we've been, as we've been speaking, as we've been speaking right here, you know, um, my phone has been going off. I can't answer it because I'm take, talking to you guys, but I'm trying to tell you, you know, the phone is going off. We're good. Everything is good. And you know, we're so blessed. And you know, man, it's been it's, it's been a it's been it's been a good year. I'm happy. And you know, I don't know many people out there. If you know them, they have a business. And if they're happy, their first year, because our first year of business, 
over 150 clients, over 100 Google reviews, over 400 YouTube subscribers, and you know, a lot of business has been made. God is good, we're good, and you know, it's been a good year. That's a recap for us here at No Limit Hauling and Junk Removal. We did it, we're moving on to our next year now, second year in business, and you know, we're not stopping. Sky's the limit. And we're going all the way up. Yes, they say I look like him, but it's okay. You know what I mean? But, um, you know, make sure you guys like and subscribe. And leave a comment. If you guys watch this whole video, leave a comment. Let me know what you think I missed. Or let me know if you have a, a question about uh, 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 what, what you want to know, what we did in our first year of business. Or if you need help on something. Or if you need any information, leave a comment. And, you know, we'll get back at you. You know, a lot of time our number's on here. And, you know, a lot of time a lot of people hit us up and ask us questions. So, you know, we're here for you. And we're going to keep on bringing videos. We're going to have more content. And that's what we do over here at No Limit Hauling and Junk Removal. And you already know, this is your boy, Mr. Yee Yee. Yes, yes. And that's a wrap.